Hey, what's up guys, Tanmay here, back with another video for our channel Simple Snippets. So in this video tutorial, we'll see the second universal gate that is NAND gate. In the previous video tutorial, we saw another universal gate which was a NOR gate. So if you have missed that part, you can check it out. So let's get started with today's tutorial. A NAND gate performs a logical NAND operation. Now this NAND operation is exactly opposite to the logical AND operation. Now if you have missed the basic operations that is the AND, OR and NOT operations, you can check it out in the previous video tutorials from this playlist. So the output Y of a NAND gate is high if any of the inputs is low. And output is low if all the inputs are high. I'll show you the truth table in a second. So this is the inverse of AND gate operations. Here's the output expression which is given as A and B the whole complement. Now the symbolic representation is as shown. Now you can see the NAND gate is pretty much similar to the AND gate symbol but here we have a bubble at the output line. Now this is a two input variable NAND gate with single output Y which is equal to A and B the whole complement. Here is the truth table. We have input values A and B. So we first calculate the AND operation between these two variables A and B and since it is a NAND operation which is opposite to the AND we take a complement and get the final result in the last column which is given by A and B the whole complement. So why is NAND gate called a universal gate? A NAND gate can be used to create the OR gate that is we can assemble number of NAND gates in such a way that we get the output of an OR gate and lastly NAND gate can be used to create the output of a NOT gate. So we will see these operations in real time and I will show you how NAND gate can be used to create all these basic gates. Since a single NAND gate or number of NAND gates can be used to create these basic gates it is known as a universal gate. So let's get ahead with creating these basic gates using these NAND gates. Okay so as you can see I have divided the screen in three parts. In the first part we will use a NAND gate and create a NOT gate. So let's get started with the proof. Now we have this NAND gate over here and we supply an input A two times that we supply input over here as well as here and it's the same input that is A. So according to the NAND operation or the equation of NAND we have Y is equal to A and A the whole complement. Now we know that A and A is always equal to A. So this is the idempotent law and we have studied this in the previous video tutorial so if you have missed it you can always check it out. So the output expression can be written as A complement only. Now notice that we supplied the value A and we got the answer as A complement. So this is the function of a NOT gate. Thus NAND gate can be used to create a NOT gate in this fashion. Now let's move ahead to create a OR gate using the NAND gate. Now here we have three NAND gates. This is the first one, this is the second and this is the third. For the first NAND gate we supply A as the input. For the second we supply B as the input. And we get the resulting respective outputs as A complement and B complement. Now we know how we got these values since we just saw that it is operating as a NOT gate in this case. But for the third NAND gate we supply these values as input. So the equation of third NAND gate should be y is equal to A complement that is this value and B complement that is this value the whole complement because since it is a NAND gate we have to take the complement of the entire equation. Now we studied the De Morgan's law wherein we saw that A and B the whole complement is equal to A complement or B complement. So according to this law which we apply to this equation we will get the value of the output as A double complement or P double complement. We have also seen that A double complement is equal to A. Thus the final equation, thus the final equation I will write it over here will be A or B or this operation is performed by a logical OR gate. Thus by using three NAND gates we achieved the output of an OR gate. Now let's take a look at AND gate using the NAND gate. Here we have two NAND gates this is the first one and this is the second. We supply inputs A and B to the first NAND gate. So we get the output as so in this case we supply A and B as the input to the first NAND gate and we get the corresponding output as A and B the whole complement. Now we supply this A and B the whole complement as input to the second NAND gate. We have A and B the whole complement over here. 
as well as A and B, the whole complement over here. So the output of the second NAND gate would be A and B, the whole complement, and A and B, the whole complement, and the whole complement of the both two entities or the both two inputs. Now we know that A and A is equal to A. So this is the idempotent law which we studied in the previous video tutorials. So consider this entire part as A. So even this part will be A. Now taking a logical AND operation will always end up with single value A. So this entire equation will be simplified to A and B double complement. Now we also know that A double complement is equal to A. So simplifying this equation further we get A and B. Now this is the operation which is performed by the logical AND gate. So we just achieved the operation of AND gate using an AND gate. So that's it for this video tutorial. Now that we've understood the basics of logic gates, we saw all the laws, we also saw the De Morgan's law, we studied what logic gates are and saw the different types. We also studied the universal gates. So in the next video tutorial, we'll solve some numericals based on Boolean algebra and we'll derive some logic gates which are the results of these Boolean algebraic expressions. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel so that you get notified when you upload the next video. Peace.